Can you get, just give us a little backstory of when that was written and why it was written and when you knew that, holy cow, this is something that's going to be big? Um, I never knew that. I, it was a surprise to me, actually. I wrote it and, and said, oh, this is a good album track, you know, and uh, if anyone remembers what an album is. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was just going to be one of the songs on yeah, the record. Yeah, it was just one of the songs, and and um, and I wrote it. I was actually talking about not not really thinking the music career was going to work out. I went to a, I started working a stained glass class because I thought I'm not going to make money. Obviously, not going to make money as a musician, so I better have a plan B. So, so I started stained making, glass. Stained glass. Yeah, I thought I could support my future family by being a stained glass master. Right. Anyway, so I started going to stained glass class, and there was this girl that was amazing, and I she had a boyfriend, and I couldn't even. He wouldn't even look at me. So I went home and, with my sexual angst and wrote Jesse's Girl. There's so much information here. The, the first part is that I'm thinking, I'm thinking of you, I'm looking at you now. I mean, you've been an incredibly attractive man your whole life. You're in a stained glass class. Class. And, and, and there's somebody that you couldn't get to look at you? Yeah. No, she was, uh, I, I never had chat for girls. I mean, I really. You don't have to have chat when you look like you. <laughs> no. You don't. You're Rick Springfield. No, I wasn't. Stained glass master. I wasn't then. And I... <laughs> Stained glass master. <laughs>